Here at Scott Legal, we know the ins and outs of immigration. We are here to help you navigate the oftentimes complex road in achieving your immigration goals. We have new immigration videos every week. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and bell. You can also sign up for one of our webinars or get a free immigration guide by clicking the link below. Many ask, does an E2 employee have to have prior experience? Let's find out. An E2 visa is available for entrepreneurs who want to start or buy a business in the US. Many people think that prior experience with the E2 investors foreign entity is required to qualify for an E2 employee visa. While this is not the case, it may still be helpful if the employee has prior experience with the company. Let's look at an example. You are the treaty investor, you own a trucking company in your home country, and you just set up an entity in the US. You want to apply for an E2 investor visa, and you also want to bring your general manager from your home country to the US on an E2 employee visa. The general manager only started working for the UK company six months ago, and you are wondering if this is fine, or if there is any minimum time the employee should work for the foreign entity to qualify for an E2 employee visa. The answer is that an E2 employee does not have to have any prior experience working for your foreign company. In fact, many E2 investors don't have an entity in their home country at all. If the E2 employee does have experience working for the foreign entity, it may help the E2 employee application in some situations. One. If you are bringing the employee as a specialized skills employee, the fact that he or she worked for the company abroad may help to make the argument that the employee possesses specialized skills and those skills are essential to effectively operate the business. For example, you could argue that the employee is already familiar with the company's operations and clientele abroad and because the business is now expanding to the US and the E2 entity is a new entity, it needs someone who is already familiar with the company's operations to come to the US. Two. If you are bringing the employee under the E2 manager or executive category, the experience with the foreign company may still be helpful to show that the employee has managerial or executive experience while working for your foreign entity in the same field. In E2 employee cases, the employee will need to submit his or her resume and degrees as evidence of qualifications. To sum up, while the E2 employee does not need to have experience working for your foreign entity, if he or she does have experience, it should definitely be mentioned in the application and may be helpful for the petition. To learn more, take a look at our resources in the description box below. You can also sign up for a free visa guide, any of our upcoming webinars, and Facebook groups. You can also schedule a consultation for a date and time that is best for you. We are here to help. You can contact us by calling 212-223-2964 or by sending us an email. We look forward to hearing from you.